We got two heavy hitters for you right here. The 18 and 4 Celtics versus the 18 and 3 Spurs, the best team in the East versus the best defensive team in the NBA. This is going to be a good one. Uh, who do I think is going to win? I'm going to go with the Spurs. Even, better record, even though it's only by one game. They're playing at home, and uh, their defense is just so phenomenal. Larry Bird really has to do a lot for the Celtics for them to prosper. I think that they shut him down. I think they get the dub. Well, the weekend has officially begun, and we welcome you to this 2K Sports presentation of NBA Basketball. Hey, big Dave this Cowens. is Kevin Harlan with Greg Anthony and Clark Kellogg and our sideline reporter off. David Aldridge. We've got the Boston Celtics taking on the big San match up here. Spurs. Ooh. So let's take a look at the Boston Celtics starting lineup. Not Not only a mean playoff implications, right? Both of these and teams Cowens are trying to secure. Uh, you know, already they're looking Robinson. forward to playoffs and seeding and everything Samuel. because it's just so good. Parker outside. But, you know, I mean, it it, if, if, if it happens, both of these teams would meet in the playoffs and in the finals. So maybe a potential championship basketball we're seeing here. Um, and really, the game plan is, is despite, you know, that being said, the game plan is pretty simple, right? If you're the Spurs... Lewis kicks to Bird. <laughs> That's the game plan. And setting the tone with that rejection. <laughs> if you if you're the Spurs, anchor of this team, you you play hard B. You don't give up shots. You foul them. You don't care what it takes. Okay. You play hard defense. You chew the clock. You wear them down on the offensive side of things, and you get in their heads. Shot clock violations. Turnovers. Trips to the line. That's how the Spurs win this year. If you're the Celtics, you got to be able to push past the inevitable turnovers that are going to be there. You got to be able to uh, push past the fact that Larry Bird and Jason Tatum are basically going to be shut down. Uh, and, and you got to, you know, your others have to step up, like Max Lewis here from D. His strongest trait, the All right. unselfishness uh, from Kuzi. Fantastic and also, I mean, you know, you got to realize Larry Bird on, on Tim Duncan. It's got to be a speed Cleveland. mismatch there. Now here's Duncan. Maybe you can take advantage of that. Off here's some screens. It's hauled in by Bird. Well, he's much better than that. Really, but, no uh, excuse for missing I mean, that you know, lane. That's how you're gonna have to do it now. Oh, I mean, look at this already. Another turnover. It's two blocks and a steal. Same. We've seen it. Pushing the pace, and now they get a trip to the line. I mean, it, it, this is exactly what we're talking about for the Spurs. Play hard defense, play aggressive. Blocks, steals, fouls, trips to the line. That's what you need to generate. Shot clock violations, all of it. They've been doing it so far already. And while we've got a moment, let's send it over to our terrific you know, reporter. And it's like, David I mean, it's 5-5, it's five, five, but it's like, Thanks, Kevin. I spoke with Max Lewis had to shoot a three from deep. The Spurs are like, hey, if, if Max Lewis is going to be the guy to beat us from, from that deep, he told me we can live with that. that. I feel good about our chances. Guys you know, we got Sam Duncan doing that to Larry Bird, you know? get his guys to get geeked for the challenge. Thank you, David. Here's Kuzi. After the basket by San Antonio. Outside Lewis. Big play mm. by Bird to set it up. Max Lewis again from deep. He might be the guy. Now in the first quarter for Boston. He might be the one. Parker outside. Spurs wising up to the fact that they have a huge mismatch. Tim Duncan to lose and control of the ball. About three minutes gone. Dave Cowens with the smart double team there. Able to Bird is screen on complete. Line. Set loss right. of control and now Bird. Bird. Oh wow. No That's a shot. From if you can get that successfully Robinson and operate that Parker. pick and roll successfully on the Spurs. That's a shot you better Here's not Duncan. miss. And Boston with the rebound. And he Ooh, with the Dave Cowens. 
not your typical center, but man, he plays as big as any of them thanks to that terrific leaping ability. Now here's Parker. Mm. Screen off the screen to get Parker wide open. Unable to make him pay, though. Pass to Kuzi. Back to Bird. Now, ooh, 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 Larry Bird. Ooh, oh, God. Oh, jeez. Oh, breaking the ankles of David Robinson. <laughs> With the block. And then David was like, all right, I'm just going to stop moving. <laughs> I'm just going to wait for you to put up a shot. How about that? <laughs> Duncan outside. The dish department. Oh, there's no way this goes. No good that wow. time. Now I'm surprised that wasn't blocked completely, but. Collins passes to Lewis. Oh, wait, Here's they got Cousy. a big speed mismatch here, which means they got a mouse in, in the house one. somewhere. They just got to be able to find it, and that's not it. And it's blocked. Jeez. And control of the ball. That was the, the wrong mouse in the wrong house. The pass to Samuels. The end of the drought. Offensive rebound. Oh, what a board by Kawhi there. And an easy put back. And the Celtics are going to have to take a timeout. Cannot get anything to go. This is what the Spurs team does to you, man. They, they, they turn the best offensive teams in the league to dust. The Celtics with the lead. They hold everyone to and here's near nothing. From and you can expect to see a lot range. of misses, a Rebound lot of blocks, a lot of steals. Mm. Yeah, Tim Duncan's gonna rise fire on a mini like that. To shoot the basketball. Here's Bird. They'll eat on that on Larry Bird all day. By Tim From past the arc. Oh, oh great little, little screen there. Just focusing on the task at hand. That's all you can do. Yeah, these teams trading punches right now. I mean, it's table tennis. Back and forth we go. Now here's Duncan. Ooh, Bob Cousy, no slouch on defense. That shot missing. No doubt it's been yeah, this a bit of a struggle team. for him here. It's not bad defensively. Their the point differential has been pretty phenomenal this season. That's on David Robinson. That skill set that Cowens, but offensively, I mean, they, they just from the field and you know, it's a matter of do they have the juice to survive the Spurs. I mean, even if this Spurs team is down 10, you know, this quarter, like, you just know, like, the style of play, how they're able to successfully defend without fouling. Um, takes the three, you know, it's just, it just wears down, and in the third, fourth quarter. They hold teams to, to stretch it. You know, 20 really points for it regularly. To contest it so it's like it's kind of hard to win. Scoring 20 points in a quarter, 40 points in a half. Mark this quarter. It's been ugly. To the paint. Why? Offensive three second violation, perhaps? What a terrific move that one. Oh, it's Close. not easy trying to guard Leonard inside. I can tell you that, guys. I mean, he's so good at using his body to get shots up over the defense. Now, here's Tatum. Yo, that this shot from three. Tatum was wild. David Robinson in Robinson out there to defend it. Was on him. I feel like if he doesn't get out there to defend that, that shot probably drops. Parker, but. looking around. And, with the and the face makes all the difference. Now it's a four-point Spurs lead. Pass to Bird. Larry, he's gone cold. Larry trying to force it down low. He needs to. What they really need to do is run screens off. Either get him to switch to someone else. Get them in the score. So San Antonio goes with a fresh five on the Screens off. Get him open. Have Tim Duncan run. We're seeing the full bench substitution for both squads here. Uh, of course, Larry Bird taking his foul shots, so he's staying in. Boston is Kevin McHale comes in. You know, part of what makes Bird exceptional is Paul all Pierce. I mean, he gets it done on both uh, ends of the floor. So Kevin, that's so Kevin McHale actually MVP has the center right now. Paul Pierce. Now, here's Johnson. Uh, small forward, Here's Jojo White. 
point guard. And John Havlicek, the shooting guard. And guys, that's not as easy as he made it look. Meanwhile, you got Mono Ginobili against the point. George Gordon, Kervin is the shooting guard. Keldon Johnson, small forward. Larry Kennan is the power forward. And I believe the uh, now in his second year, but Purdy. I think it's Andre. Andre Hupperty. In at center, and he's been he's long, lengthy. He can shoot the three. Six on the shot clock. And he's adopted this defensive mentality that this whole team seems to have. Perfect fit with the Spurs squad, and they knew it the moment they drafted him. One team gets three, you fire three of your own. Boom. Keenan, the pass to Ginobili. Here's Keenan. Here's oh, wow. Steel. Paul Pierce with the defensive effort. It's White on the wing. And no good that time. And the Spurs going the other way now. Well, you, you have to like their work on the board together, particularly here to start the game. Yeah, I like the way they're setting the tone. Really playing with a lot of energy here at the start. And here's White after the three-pointer from Kelvin Johnson. And here's Bird from the arc. And they'll keep possession. On deep. A rebound by the Spurs. You know what? He's just stone cold right now. Really not sure if he's their best option offensively as they try to get back in this game. I mean, Larry Bird has been held to a miserable Still one of eight here. Offensively. No scoring yet from him. <laughs> a he miserable one of eight, even with the bench out here on the floor. Five on the clock. He cannot get anything going. Right. It's clear that the Spurs game plan was... Tough break there, shot after shot. There. You know, don't let Larry be or someone other than Larry White to around. beat us. And that's, Dishes I mean, hey, they've been sick to it. There's the three. Nailed from three I mean, that's a tough three-pointer to make. Yeah, we've talked about this often. Like, if you're the Spurs, you'll, you'll give them that shot all night because you know win. they're not going to make that consistency. Consistently with that effort of defense. Oh, my too. gosh. George Gervin. You know, on the plus side of 30 by a few years, still getting up there to get those tongues. He's got five. And it's Havlicek missing. down, two. A minute 42 left in the first quarter of the game. Rejected by Pierce. McHale inside. Oh, McHale. Tried to get it to go. Larry Kinnon, what I, what I like about Larry Kinnon, Huck Birdie, is that they're, they're thin, but they're long, they're lengthy, they know how to use their length to make up for what they lack and the impossible strength down low. And, effort so far. and, I like and uh, the fact it's fun to watch, looking to protect the rim especially from a, a defensive yes, stand. the layup with that foul, and he'll make him earn him from the line, and that's what you want to see. The first free throw is good. Austin May going to switch here. Russell's checked in. Both shots good from the strike. Here's White. He's been patient so far. Nothing on the scoreboard yet. He feeds it to Havlicek. Well, Havlicek found himself Good for the wide open, but didn't realize it. One for one with that shot. And, and what you love about Russell is now Bill he Russell's. plays to his strengths. Nothing Ooh. fancy, just goes right to one of his capable moves. Celtics trail by six. Shoots the three. The rebound by Johnson. And so it's Johnson who brings the ball up for San Antonio. Ooh. Good snag there by Kevin McHale. McHale looking for an opening and taken away by Johnson. Five seconds. Great defense though, still by the Spurs. Ginobili outside. From deep. Oh, oh but he fouled him. But he fouled him. Go to the line for three free throws. It's going to be on Bill Russell. The Spurs have made three free throws so far. Haven't missed any. And whether he's starting or coming off the bench, Ginobili makes an impact. The, the type of player any team would love to have. Here's what Boston's going with right now. Cole's check in for McHale. And it's Ellis in for Havlicek. And he makes all three. And doing a good job getting to the line and capitalizing. Exactly. I mean, that's what's helped them build this early lead. And here's White. Rejected mm. by Ginobili. Mm. The defense is impeccable. It to 
Stolen by Pierce. And here's He's got to check it up. The rookie couldn't get it to go. They find themselves up nine in a very defensive Right, first quarter, I mean, the Celtics are literally on pace to score less than 100 points this game, uh, which is exactly the Spurs' M.O. Can they hold the Celtics to this? I mean, can Larry Bird truly be contained for four quarters? Uh, We're, we're about to find out. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. The Spurs. Uh, a crushing... 23-point victory. Just, again, I mean, this doing what they do. I mean, look at that. Just two consecutive quarters with, you know, nothing. Even when they did let up 39 points in the third quarter, they scored 40. I mean, you know, they, they had one good quarter, which was the only reason they even got over 100 points. The Celtic squad was was absolutely shut down. You know, even though the Spurs don't shoot well from beyond the arc, they hold other teams to abysmal shot percentages from beyond the arc as well. And they hold them to abysmal sh percentages all around, and they managed to do it without fouling. Celtics only took nine free throws in the whole game. Meanwhile, the Spurs, they get down low and they bully everybody. Right? They got to the line 39 times. 39 times. And made 33 of them. So, I mean, actually a pretty decent clip from the line as well. You know, and it's like they had a 23-point margin of victory. 15 of those were from the bench. You know, uh, 10 of those were from second chance points. You know, when you look at the, the difference between offensive rebounds and Defensive rebounds, turnovers, and their points off of turnovers. It's just this is classic Spurs uh, right here, just holding teams to, to next to nothing. Let's take a look at that box score, though. Larry Bird, 28 points. Uh, so actually ended up going off later, you know, after having only five points in that first quarter. Uh, ended up finishing, I mean, six of 14. From beyond the area, starting off one of nine and one of seven, if you go six to 14, that means he went five of seven, and that means he went uh nine of ten for uh, yeah, or eight, eight of ten for the remainder of the game. So, I mean, he he definitely came out after the first quarter and was fantastic. And Max Lewis even had a good night, but Jason Tatum didn't, right. It's going to take more than Larry Bird to beat him. Jason Tatum's going to have to come out and be efficient, too, and he wasn't. You know, he never turned things around. Bob Cousy was horrible on the night, despite having eight rebounds and nine assists from the point guard position. You know, everyone else was great, but the Spurs, what they do, they take away your main guys. Larry Bird, Cousy, Tatum. Uh, they couldn't take away Larry the whole game. But Tatum and Kusi, you know, they made sure Larry definitely didn't have any help. Meanwhile, Tony Parker dropped 25 on 11 of 20 shooting. Still managed to get, you know, eight assists and, and multiple steals. David Robinson had 25 points, nine rebounds, three blocks. Keldon Johnson had 16 points off the bench with multiple steals. Tim Duncan had multiple blocks. Ginobili had multiple steals and multiple blocks. Uh, Larry Kennan had multiple steals. Literally, when you look at this lineup, all the way down to there's there's three people that didn't have either a block or a steal. Only three that played in this game out of 13. Um, you know, that's just the, their defensive numbers are just crazy. Just crazy. Even when you go all the way down to Kawhi Leonard, he still had nine assists. He still had six rebounds. From the, from the small forward spot. I mean, he still put in the work. Still came up with a steal. No turnovers. Played a clean game. 